What is up Gunpla Modelers? My name is Strider Prime and today I'm bringing you a special edition of Gundam Customs. And judging by the video you're seeing right now you are aware of what I'm going to build now. Obviously the Mobile Suit RX-0 Full Armor Unicorn Gundam ver Ka version from of course the Mobile Suit Gun Unicorn Gundam animated series. Now, this kit, of course, has been provided by iShop to go and uh, the fine people at that site has sent me this kit to not only build, but review and show off many of the cool features that this monstrosity has to uh, offer. Now, a little backcaster here, obviously we've seen like, what, four to five um, variations of the uh, full armor unicorn. We've seen the original, which I have, and sorry to say I haven't built yet. We have the original titanium version. Then we had the updated version of the OVA series, the OVA uh, uh, unicorn. Then the OVA with the cage. I think I remember last year at the uh, at the Comic Con show, um, the people at the Blue Friend Distribution Center were selling these kits like crazy. Uh, even I was thinking of getting one, but I said, "Well, I got the other one." And now we have this. And just when you think we've had enough of Unicorn, we're going to get the Banshee too, the Banshee Unicorn Master Grade in a couple of months. So, unless. Bandai has another kit up their sleeve for uh, in the same line of you of you of the unicorn I think we're not gonna get a, you know we're not gonna get enough of this kit but obviously what it's so amazing on this kit is not because of the suit it's the whole weaponry it's overkill it is one of the most overkill kits I've ever seen and for some unknown reason it works perfectly I mean, I've seen, I think we've seen many kits in the past that have a massive amount of weaponry. Uh, obviously, Heavy Arms comes to mind. That's one kit. But that's a balanced one. Heavy Arms Custom has more weaponry. Um, another kit was the Serpent uh, from from the uh, 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 Engle Endless Waltz uh, series. That had not only two Gantling cannons in the hand, but it also had like a bazooka and a beam cannon that you, it, that was held in the backpack. That was a, that was also crazy. Um, another kit that had a lot of weaponry was uh, the what was it? The Victory Gundam with the uh, with the booster. So that had a little bit of, uh, of of firepower there, but not too much, just enough. But this, you're trying to think how is he going to manage all these weaponry at the same time? It's an, it's impossible. It's literally impossible. But it is, for some other reason, it does fit perfectly for its size. I wonder if Bandai is going to plan to make a full armored version of the Sananju. Maybe people, somebody will take all the parts of this and put it on the Sananju. That could be a cool thing. Maybe we'll see a high grade version of it and then somebody will figure it out to put it on the, on the high grade version of the Sananju. Right now I'm throwing uh, things in the air so I'm not too very, you know, not everything is all set in stone. Don't take my word for it. I'm just I'm some guy, you know, building kits. But regardless of all that, I have this kit in my possession. And yes, I am going to build it. This is part one. This is not a work in progress. I know one day I have to revisit that other kit. I surely do. With that being said, let's look at the contents of this kit and see what we have to work with. Massive kit. There's the manual, we'll cover that soon. Here, oh wow, a lot of decals here. I'm, this is going to be a lot of work for me. You know, I, 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 I get beat up every now and then by people asking me, am I going to panel line this? But to tell you the truth, where to panel line this? This kit is so cut up 
to a port because when you look at it, it's all pieces like little smaller pieces of the of the bigger one that forms into this unicorn and it looks like a solid part, but it isn't. I mean, certain parts I could probably get away with a, a panel lining like something like that, or maybe this. Um, this one I don't know how you panel line it either way. Which, of course, brings me to a different topic now. Um, many of you are, are probably asking me, am I going to paint it? We're having some weird weather lately. Where one day it will be like freezing cold, and the other day it will be like a nice 60 degree weather. Not that much wind. I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to paint this. Originally, I wasn't going to paint it, but yeah, I am going to paint this the whole shebang. So this may be a lengthy process for me. Now here are the clear parts, which look clear, of course. And I think if I'm not mistaken, a couple of months ago, or when they were showing off this kit, um, I thought, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, I thought that there was a special edition version where the the green parts were not green, they were blue. Now I could I could be completely wrong, of course, but it would have been an interesting idea if Bandai decided to release this kit again with blue parts, or at least sell the interior, you know, the inside with blue parts, so you can replace the current kit with the uh, blue. Here are the weapons. Here. But that's an idea. Okay, there's the horn, of course. Interesting that you can only... They give you two different types of horns. The one that's split and the one that's already a horn. So, even when the Master Grade kit, you would think that they would... You know... Do it the other way, but I guess this is the only way they can do it. Right now my stomach is churning because I cannot believe the amount of parts I have to deal with here. And I don't think I have enough trays to actually put all the parts in. Furthermore, for for painting purposes and for build time, I will probably pre-assemble a lot of things like the inner frame and then paint, paint it while it's in the inner frame. Oh yeah, this is the uh, parts to make that little shuttle thing. I kind of like that one. Uh, that was a, that's a cool thing to see. So yeah, there's a lot of parts that I have to do a little pre-painting. I mean, pre-assembly first, pre-painting, and then try to work with the inner frame. I mean, with the outer frame. The inner frame will be, of course, me placing the LEDs and see if this whole thing will work. So far, my concept of actually placing a battery within this body. Is, uh, doesn't seem to be coming out right. And of course, the last part here is all the drop tanks. Yeah. So you understand, I'm going to have to count this, and it's going to be off camera. And I'll put this here for now. I'm counting. And this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 bags of parts, and each bag will have around two to three uh, tree runners. So we're talking about close to 40 trees. I haven't seen this many trees since Perfect Grade Strike Freedom, for those of you who like to linger longer. Alright, so look at this, look at this manual here. Good artwork right there. 
course this part is the, the coolest part of course to see this kit in action I really like these blades but why have two blades why one is enough at least you could fold it that's a cool thing but look at the amount of weaponry we're talking about here. You have a bean hyper javelin. You have a shield. You have three shields, by the way. You have hand grenades. You have grenade launchers. You have a hyper bazooka. You have a triple missile pod. You have two, uh, how many beam gallon cannons? Six beam gallon cannons. And not to mention the uh, magnum cannon. There's enough extra weaponry here to give your other master grade kits if you want. And so I'm hoping that maybe they start making other Master Grade kits for the Unicorn series, uh, like the uh, like the Strike Jagan or the um, or the Girazulu. The Girazulu would look great with all these weaponry. Here's the part list. Pretty much covers three uh, pages. And then right here we have the body, or the assembly of the main body. Followed by the head, and then the arms, then the assembly of the upper body, then it goes onto the waist unit, which from here goes to the leg, or the legs, which covers nearly two page, three and a, two and a half pages, the backpack. And then, of course, the final assembly of this kit, which then moves on to the colored graphics of the kit. Yeah, this one, I, I really can't wait to build this one. This is actually kind of nice. Of course, building this would negate putting the tanks on the kit. And I think that will probably be best because for those of you who don't have space, like me, I don't know where to put this kit. And then uh, we have all these other parts here. Check. Oh, this is the actual part where you actually build the kit, and then here, here's the list of weaponry. Beam Magnum, hand grenades, hyper bazooka right, hyper bazooka left, the shield A, shield B, shield C is somewhere around here. Hyper beam javelin, beam gatling cannon A, beam gatling cannon B, uh, B. There's two different types. Oh, wow, I didn't realize there's two different types of beam gatlins. One with the, uh, yeah, we'll cover that, and, and the booster. Then, of course, this, these pages here will cover all the assembly of the weaponry. And how to, uh, uh, there's the, uh, that, this other option. They, they call it an option. Call it what it is. And then, of course, the placement of all the stickers and decals to put on this kit. Surprisingly, no water slide. Which, wonder why Banna hasn't released any water slide kits in a while. Uh, water slide uh, decals for a long time. Well, that's it. This is what I have to work with. This is going to be a long, exhausting build. But I'm going to try to do my best, my very best on this kit. With that being said, let's begin building. Unicorn Gundam full armor for Ka.